All right, let's get started here. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Ten New Windsor October Town Board meeting. If I can get everybody to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> All right, thank you. Before I get started, I'm just going to do some uh, introduction. I got the town board here to my right. I got the deputy supervisor, Steve Moreau, Councilwoman Sylvia Santiago, Councilwoman Eve Lincoln to my left, Councilman Charlie Bro. Also got with us Highway Superintendent Anthony Fayo, Chief of Police Danny Valeri. Also have the Deputy Chief Brian Hollyfield, and I see Lieutenant Fayo in the back as well. Receiver of taxes, Susan Scheibel. And to my right, I saved the best for last, the town clerk. Um, before we go to the public comment, uh, tonight is the official handing out of the tentative budget to the town board members. Um, but if you can just give everybody, so this is the uh, tentative budget for 2024. Um, this budget becomes the preliminary budget, that's mine, um, at a special town board meeting, which is going to be held October 16th at 10 o'clock in the conference room. Uh, between now and then, the town board members will officially have it now, able to go through it, look at it, make additions, cuts, whatever they feel. Uh, this year's budget so far is um, a house that's evaluated at $40,000, an increase of $29 per household. It's the lowest in the last eight years and third lowest in the last 15 years. So I'd like to thank uh, the board who contributed up to this point and our wonderful comptroller, Brian Casey, who worked day and night on it as well. She did a fabulous job on it, uh, and I appreciate all her work on it. Moving on to public comment. Uh, any Anybody got any public comment on any agenda items? You have three minutes to speak on that. If you'd like to talk, come on up, say your name, tell me what you want to talk about. I don't think I've had anybody yet in the last 10 months, so if somebody wants to ruin it on me, you can. If not. We'll keep the streak alive. Danielle, anything on there? No, see nobody running up at me. So we will move on to the first motion. Town Board Town New to approve the minutes of the following, all of which were held on September 4, 2024, for the copies posted in the Town Clerk's Bulletin Board in the Town Hall and the same distributed in each of the Town Board members. Public hearing for 2024 sewer, sewer assessment rule, public hearing to override the tax Levy limit established in the GML Section 3C. Public hearing to amend Chapter 280 of the Town Code of the Town New Windsor Vehicle and Traffic Law, three way stop sign, and a regular town board uh, meeting. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. Uh, this next motion, I'll, I'll read the motion. We'll vote on it. I'll talk for a brief second and then we'll. Go through the motions here. Town Board Town New Windsor promote police officer Brian J. Labarski to the position of detective in the Town New Windsor Police Department effective October 19, 2024. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. So Brian, uh, the chief, uh, did some interviews the last over the last month. Uh, Brian, uh, the chief, presented me with a candidate uh, in Brian Labarski. Uh, Brian's been here for about some seven years now with the New Windsor Police Department. I worked with Brian when I was downstairs my entire time down there when I dispatched with him. Um, he worked mostly days with us. Um, I know the chief had a tough task. He interviewed. We have a lot of, and you guys can't see it on camera, but there's a lot of damn good cops we have in the town of New Windsor that the chief had to, to interview to try to pick for a detective. And I know it was not an easy task. Um, he interviewed a lot of people. Um, Brian was the candidate they chose. A fine candidate, Brian was officer of the year this past year. Um, he's uh, he's one of those guys that I would say Brian was one of those guys that always came in, kept his mouth shut, listened, learned, and uh, he's a he's a smart guy. I, I think he's going to do great things up there. Uh, and another addition to the fine detective division we have, our detective sergeant Chris Sylvester is with us as well, so he gets another fine uh, guy on that staff there. Um, I wish you well. I know that when I put the email out, all the entire town board where I got nothing but accolades, great choice, officer of the year, good guy. Um, so they all uh, they all appreciate the, the pick uh, and congratulations. So with that, I guess we'll all clap first. 
Good job. Chief wants to come up. He's going to do what he's going to do. He'll take some pictures with the board. And then uh, Patty will swear you in, and then I'll give everybody a couple minutes to, to get out. Unless you want to stay. Brian's here with his mom and dad. Dad's going to poke him in the chest now. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's good. <laughs> it's getting close. They started the, the hour clock here, hour last year, so another 30 seconds. And yeah. wait, he'll be the next rank by the time they get that on him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Detective Lavarsi, you're going to get one in now and do a photo. Some photo of your parents if you want to get done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was lying. 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 I the duties of police detective, mm -hmm. according to the best of my ability, yes. but not be that. Relations. Good job, Brian. You got to pull off. You got to pull off. <laughs> That's it. Good. If you are, I don't know if you guys want to stay for the rest of it, but I would have time to stay. <laughs> Not exciting. Oh, <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we'll get moving on here. <clears throat> ten more ten years are authorized the town clerk to advertise pursuant to law calling for sealed bids for the Lakeside Drive culvert replacement project with shall be received and publicly opened on the 14th day of November 2024 at 11 a.m. local time in the office of the town of New Windsor Town Clerk, 555 Union Avenue, New Windsor, New York. The town board of the town of New Windsor reserves the right to reject any and all bids. Motion? Moved. Second. Roll call. 
Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Morales. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, this is yet another um, drainage project that's going on here in town, amongst a few other ones on the radar for a long time, and now it's finally going to come to fruition. Very soon. <clears throat> The town board town new are hereby introduce a local law to amend chapter 280 of the town code town new are to create areas of prohibited parking on the following town roads walnut street willow parkway karate lane avenues of america and square hill road declare this matter a type two action pursuant to the state environmental quality review act call for a public hearing to be set november 6 2024 at 7 p.m to town hall 555 union avenue new Windsor, new york and authorize the town clerk to advertise for same pursuant to law by publication and posting, all in accordance with the resolution annexed here to a motion. Move. Second. Oh, cool. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Morales. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. I'd just like to thank the police department, specifically the deputy chief there, did a lot of research on this. Um, I know the highway department had took an exception to one of these roads. They're going to get all done. Um, and then hopefully after the public hearing, they pass without a problem and we'll get some no parking signs up. I appreciate all the work on that. This is a receiving file. <clears throat> Hearing no objection, town board. Town new ones are receiving file with the town clerk. The attached continuation specific for permit bond number 4316371 submitted by Valley Contracting Incorporated. An amount of $20,000 effective February 15, 2024, and expiring February 15, 2025. For the purpose of the permit bond to secure a permit from the town of New Windsor to perform street openings within the town, same being referred to the town attorney and the town highway superintendent. This is a contractor that deals with the town a lot, and I believe they uh, just post this bond yearly in the event that there's any issues with the road after they're done with work, we can tap into that. <clears throat> Town Board Town New Windsor hereby authorizes the supervisor to enter into and execute the attached task order number 24 05 with MHE Engineering DPC for engineering services related to the development of engineering report and plans, as well as construction oversight for the required improvements to permit and install equipment necessary for corrosion control method at the Riley Road treatment plant. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. This is. Um, we have uh, corrosion control both Butter Hill and Riley Road, and we're making them match now on both Riley Road and Butter Hill. Uh, when this project is complete, we both have the same corrosion control um, for both plants there. Town Board Town New are in accordance with the resolution attached here to hereby authorize all Apple Google town officials, boards, and consultants to take all actions necessary to subdivide or make the designation lot line changes to applicable parklands, which are to be alienated and used by the Town New Windsor for construction of the New Windsor sewer treatment plant and to dedicate other property, which uh, shall be repurposed as parklands to replace the aforementioned parklands being alienated. Said alienation and dedication of replacement parklands having been approved by the New York State Legislature with the passive assembly bill number A10318 and Senate bill uh, number S9386 and signed into law by the governor of the state of New York on August 28, 2024. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Morrell. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, this has been on the town board's agenda uh, several months now. This is for the new sewer plant for the property down there. Um, and it also the alienation will be used for our Christie Badcock Park for that property there where you alienated as well. <clears throat> the town board town new are pursuant to the town new Windsor town code section 113-1 request the town code off enforcement officer and the engineer for the town conduct an inspection and prepare a report advising the board of the condition safety and uh, ability of the building located on property located at 210 Walsh Avenue, New Windsor, New York, 12553, which is further identified in the town of New Windsor tax map section 13 block 1 lot 1.2 owned by estate of Anna Maskey. Just to, before I ask for the motion, I just want to give you this is something that came up today that I went out with the um, uh, Deputy Chief, we looked at the house. It's actually a pretty dangerous house that's been uh, lived in by several uh, homeless people, if you will. It's extremely dangerous, and we, I wanted to get this on the agenda so we can have the uh, engineers and our uh, fire inspector's office kind of deem it dangerous so we can board it and, and recoup the funds through uh, uh, through putting on their taxes. Motion? Move. Roll, okay. roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. <clears throat> the town board, Titan New Windsor, a member of National Cooperative Purchase Alliance, 
known as Omni Partners, which is dedicated to optimizing procurement for government's education and not-for-profits, and whereas all contracts available through Omni Partners are competitively solicited and publicly awarded using a competitive soliciting process consistent with applicable procurement lo laws and regulations, and whereas it has become necessary for the town new to replace its obsolete document storage software, and whereas Leisure Fiche, S-A-A-S, software has been awarded contract number 01-158, available via Omni Partners, aforementioned competitive bidding process, and were asked upon recommendation by the Chief Information Technology Officer, the town board wishes to enter into a licensing agreement with LaserFish SAAS software for cloud-based document storage via contract number 01-158. Now, therefore, be resolved that the town board ten new ones are hereby authorized the town supervisor upon recommendations of the Chief Information Technology Officer to execute the attached agreement with LaserFish SAAS software for cloud-based document storage license software licensing. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. We currently have Dr. Share, which is obsolete, not really supported that well. It's not user friendly. Uh, we've looked into this one. Um, we're using ARPA funds to purchase this and get it done now. And it fits under this uh, our procurement policy for this. So that'll be up and running soon. Town Board 10 notes are hereby authorized supervisor to execute the attached proposal number 5641-2 with Mercurio, Norton, Tiroli, Marshall, an amount not to exceed $7,100 plus cost of reimbursables for the surveying of the entire 4.1 acres of Rochetti Park in accordance with the recommendation of letter MHE Engineering dated 24th of September 2024 attached here to and is hereby rescind the previous authorization of November 1st, 2023 for survey work at Christie Bell Park Memorial Park in the amount of $2,650. And that Rossetti Park in the amount of 2400 each contained in proposal number 5641. However, the balance of work contained in proposal number 5641, <coughs> excuse me, shall remain authorized and unaltered, all in accordance with the resolution annexed here to motion. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Advisor Bedetti. Yes. So we have uh, we had a master recreation plan put together. Um, Part of the plan that we have, we have to survey two parks, uh, Rochetti Park, um, which is going to be getting a uh, a little bit of a facelift and a splash pad in the next year and a half, two years. And at Christie Babcock Park, we have some plans to hopefully put some pickleball courts, basketball, and some future amenities there too. So um, that's forward progress here. We're getting that done. <clears throat> Town Board Town are hereby authorized to supervise to execute the attachment proposal with ERS Consultants Incorporated in the amount of $1,682 plus the cost of reimbursables for wetland fields de delineation at Christie Babcock Memorial Park in accordance with the recommendations of MHE Engineering dated 24th of September 2024, annexed here to motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. As part of this master comprehensive plan, we have to figure out what lands are actually buildable at Christie Babcock Park. So we have to delineate the wetlands there so we don't cross into that and the DDC will deal with us. And town Board 10 notes are hereby appoint the town engineer Michael M. Weeks, PE of MHE Engineering DPC as the town SWIP review officer and as a duly authorized representative of the town's MS4 officials for general permit certification purposes entitled to all defense and indemnification protection set forth in town code chapter 16 and authorize the town supervisor to execute any and all documents necessary to effectuate such appointment all pursuant to the resolution annexed here to motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Morrell. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, we do this uh, yearly. Mike Weeks uh, grabbed me a couple weeks ago. He's very excited about being a SWIP officer. <laughs> or tried to bribe me to take it over. <laughs> I did not agree to him. <clears throat> town Board Town New Orleans appoint Philip Billick of the Salisbury Mills Fire District to the Bureau of Fire Prevention to fill the unexpired term of Jeff Garfunkel who tendered his resignation September 26, 2024. Said term shall commence immediately and expire December 31st, 2025. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, I'll talk about that in one minute. Town Board Town New Windsor reappoint the following members of to the Bureau of Fire Prevention. All terms shall commence January 1st, 2025. Uh, and they expire December 31st, 2027. Paul Decker of the Valsky Fire Department and Francis Bedetti III of the Valsky Fire Department. Motion. 
Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yeah, so we have a nine member fire advisory board panel. We have three fire districts, major fire districts in, in the town. So there's three members of Valesgate, three members of New Windsor Fire Department, one member of Salisbury, and two civilian members that appear on this board. And they hear variances for fire lanes and projects that hit the planning board. Um, one guy resigned. We appointed the chief of actually Salisbury, and two guys that were already on it in Valesgate were reappointed. So that's what that is. Town Board 10 New Windsor authorized supervisor to execute the New York State Master contract for grants between the town of New Windsor and the state of New York for the New York State Governor's Traffic Safety Committee Police Traffic Services Program in the amount of $22,794, effective October 1st, 2024 through September 30th, 2025. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, this is a grant for the police department that we get yearly. Um, I believe the grants based on how much ticket writing they do through the traffic enforcement. It's for like seatbelt stuff and uh, you know general police traffic enforcement, DWI patrol and stuff like that. So um, we get a lot as our guys do a lot. Town Board 10 New Windsor authorized the Town and New Windsor Justice Court to apply for a CCAP grant or JCAP, I apologize, JCAP grant in the, in the 2024-2025 grant cycle up to $30,000. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yeah. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, this is a grant that they, they got one a while ago and they're getting they're hopefully getting one now for like 29 and change to scan in a bunch of court documents so we can free up some space here. In the court office and their lunchroom and everything there that's consuming a lot of area there so hopefully we get that the 10 board 10 new ones are pursuant to the resolution annex here to hereby authorize the enactment of a curfew which shall apply to all minors under the age of 18 except those traveling to or from bona fide employment school activity or me or medical emergency or those in the company of a parent guardian or a person in loco parentis this curfew shall commence at 9 p.m on october 30th 2024 and be in effect between the hours of 9 p.m and 6 a.m. on each of the following days, October 30th, October 31st, 2024, and expire 6 a.m. on November 1st, 2024. Motion? Move. Second. Go call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, this is a tool for the police department to uh, make it a little easier for us and protect the kids like I was back in the day that myself and the police chief were out <laughs> trick or treating kindly. Um, so that's, uh, it helps them out. Town Board 10 New Windsor, pursuant to the resolution attached here to hereby authorize the town supervisor to execute the New York State Department of Transportation applications and permits to operate equipment for law enforcement purposes in order the town may obtain a New York State DOT permits and install security cameras, license plate readers, and related equipment on utility poles located within various New York State rights of ways, said poles and numbers, specific locations being identified in the resolution attached here to. Motion? Move. Second. Go, go. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yeah. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bugatti. Yes. So this is a, um, a a tool that I know it's when I worked downstairs came to fruition, and I think it's a tool that's paid off dividends beyond that. We can tell you how much these uh, cameras helped the police department, not only our town but several other towns all over the place. They tap in our resources. Um, I will say that there's a lot that goes into these pole attachment agreements, like a real life. You see the amount that goes into these and all this stuff just doesn't happen and fall on my desk. The uh, paralegal Jess Marina in Dave's office, I know Dave has a little hand in it, but Jess does, I, I, I can't even thank her enough. I can't thank her enough the work she does in it. It's just, she had the door shut today and she was on a phone with Central Hudson over this stuff and it's just tremendous what she does and I thank her more than she knows. <clears throat> Town Board 10 New Windsor, pursuant to the resolution attached here to hereby approve the attached parts two and three of the full environmental assessment form authorized the Town Supervisor to execute part three, determine the proposed actions will not have a significant environmental impact and adopt the attached negative declaration and authorized circulation of the town's negative declaration to all others involved in interested agencies, all in connection with the river keepers incorporated plan removal of the Walsh Road Dam Federal ID number 16280. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, I'm sure most of you know if you travel that way, Walsh Road's been closed because they're replacing a bridge there just upstream of that. We'll call it West. Southwest is a dam that River Keepers is looking to take out. Um, they asked if we would help them be like lead agency to do a lot of this 
stuff. We're helping them out. Um, it's no cost to taxpayers, but we're just doing the, the paperwork end of it to help them remove this name. Town Board, Town of New Windsor, hereby authorizes supervisors to enter into and execute the attached kennel agreement between the Town of New Windsor and the Town of Cornwall to permit New Windsor to accept Cornwall's impounded dogs during evening hours and periods of cold weather. Said agreement shall commence upon full execution of the same and continue uninterrupted for a period of one year. Motion? Moved. Second. Vote for Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, there's something to help out for. We have our own little small kennels up in the airport, and we get maybe one or two dogs a year from them just for the cold weather time until they go back out to their regular shelter. Town Board Town New Windsor authorized supervisor to execute the attached agreement between the Town New Windsor and Richard Kroll to provide nuisance wildlife control at the New Windsor landfill for a cost not to exceed $1,300. Said agreement shall remain in effect from January 1st, 2025 to December 31st, 2025. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Burrell. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Morrell. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. That's Mr. Cole's been doing that for quite some time. We have to have rodent control out there. We'll land for there. Receiving file. Hearing no objection. Town Board 10 New Windsor hereby receiving file with the town clerk the attached amendment grant agreement dated September 18, 2024. Agreement between the town of New Windsor. What happened? You missed one, bro. Come Which on. one I missed? Oh, it's stuck here. My bad. Yell at me. I'm good. Okay. Town Board 10. Okay, I'm backing up. Rewind the tape here. Town Board 10 News are authorized the town clerk to publish and display ad in the Mid Hudson Times with reference to both roadway and sidewalk snow removal laws requested that residents clear fire hydrants on their property for the fire department's motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yeah. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, this is a yearly thing that we try to notify the residents um, to keep the sidewalks. More importantly, the fire hydrants. I know that's uh, the volunteer fire department area. I really appreciate that. And it only will save time if you help them clear it up. Now, back on track. Hearing no objection, Town Board Town New Windsor hereby receiving file with the Town Clerk the attached amendment grant agreement dated September 18, 2024, between the Town of New Windsor and New York State Department of Environmental Conservation for the Town of New Windsor's MS4 map, map, mapping project. This is a, a uh, this is another one of those unfunded mandates by the state that they're requiring us to do. It's a whole lot of work. We have to do this. It's so far on good, but it's just a, it's a lot of work, and a lot of people have been involved with it, and they appreciate all the work they've done on it. Hearing no objection, Town Board Town New Windsor hereby receive and file with the Town Clerk the attached fully executed amendment agreement dated July 8, 2024, between County of Orange and the Town New Windsor, increasing the availability funding by an additional 40000 for the ADA Accessibility Improvement Town Hall Complex project under Community Development Block Grant funding for year 2024, now for funding year 2023. This is the ADA project. Program you see going on here, we're putting some ramps in and new doors and uh, updating the bathroom up front here. Um, Moresco Center is getting updated bathrooms, door and walkway, and the community center is getting some repaired and ADA uh, ramps going outside as well. Hearing no objection, receiving file. Hearing no objection, Town Board Town New Windsor hereby receiving file with the Town Clerk the attached license agreement number 845 from Central Hudson, Gas and Electric Corp. Town New Windsor for decorative temporary attachment utility pole, poles. Owned, co-owned, and maintained by Central Hudson Gas and Electric. I will talk about that in a minute. Hearing no objection, Town Board Town News are hereby receiving file with the Town Clerk the attached license agreement number one, ANY 2400160001 from Verizon New York and the Town News are for the purpose of affixing hometown hero banners to utility poles co-owned and maintained by Verizon New York. Um, again, this is another thing that's uh, several pages thick of uh, identifying telephone poles, figuring out which ones Verizon Central Hudson own that we can hang these uh, hero banners on. Um, again, the paralegal just has been has done the yeoman's work on this. She's been unbelievable with this. She's got it all approved. Um, with that, the program we got right now 19 banners in production right now. Hopefully, going to be up in the next couple of weeks, and you'll start seeing them hung up on. Uh, on Union Avenue corridor here between Matson's and 9W. Hearing no objection, Town Board Town New Windsor receiving file an intermunicipal agreement between the Town New Windsor and Washville Central School District for the provisions of a police officer in Little Britain School from September 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2027. This expired like every other contract when I took office. Um, 
Officer Pearson, the police department does a nice job out there. They absolutely love him out there. I paid a visit out there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he gave me a tour of the place. Um, again, they love him. It's a three-year agreement. They've actually increased some, uh, some payment to the town on it. So it worked out well for us. <clears throat> Hearing no objections, town board town are hereby receive and file with the town clerk the attached fully executed san sanitary sewer pump station, permanent standby generator, inlet gravity pipe. Outlet force main and sewer main easement agreement dated April 30, 2024, between Little Britain Road Properties LLC and the town of New Windsor, which was recorded in Orange County Clerk's Office on the 20th day of June 2024, Library 15583, page 1062. We'll talk to that in a minute. Hearing no objection, Town Board Town New Windsor hereby receive and file with the town clerk the attached fully executed irrevocable offer of dedication of sanitary sewer pump station, permanent standby generator, inlet, gravity pipe, outlet, force main, sewer main, and utility and access easement agreement dated April 17, 2024, among Little Britain Road Properties LLC, Watchtower Bible, and Tract Society of New York, incorporated in the town of New Windsor, which was recorded in Orange County's office on the 20th day of June, 2024, in Library 15583 at page 1022. Basically, what this is, is the there was a new um, uh, stone gate that was built off of Little Britain Road. Uh, part of their agreement and their developers agreement they had to actually create a new sewer pump station and move it which they did we got to get some easements from some properties there law office and everything it's gonna be a brand new upgraded pump station which uh benefits the town greatly receive i have no objection town board town new ones are hereby receiving file with the town clerk to attach summons and complaint in the matter of bt an infant under the age of 18 years by his mother and natural guardian cassandra through and cassandra through individually versus the town of new Windsor. I believe this was an accident that happened in New Windsor. Uh, 207 and 300. No, I think that was that one. No, this oh, was that? Okay. That was my bad then. Wrong one. It was a bike accident. Uh, 2024 monthly reports. Hearing no objection, the town board town New Windsor shall receive and file the town clerk the attached monthly reports for the following departments in 2024. These are all September 24. Justice Court. Noreen Calder and Justice Court George Myers, Police Department, Building Department, Recreation Department, Tax Receiver, Utility Report, Town Clerk, and New Windsor Emergency Medical Service. Uh, public forum before anything from the board. Steve, Charlie, Steve, Sylvia, not we're good. Public, anybody got anything? Nobody have nothing, Alberto. You're good. All right, we're gonna call it. So, nothing on the public. Town Board Town New Windsor adjourn the town board meeting at 733. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Biotis. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel.